and welcome to another Epic Games free game of the week review. This is Prey and this will be released on May 12th and it is a re-release because this was I already have this game and I only get free stuff so uh, this was released probably at Christmas time as a second release. The uh, Epic Games will do that quite often. Uh, it's been the first time since I started doing these that they've been on there except for maybe last week's. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was or not but uh, yeah it probably was a, another release and this is this is another one that was free uh, during the Christmas time rush where they give you one every free day. But anyways let's get to the review in this game. As you can see it looks pretty Pretty nice uh, is a game where you have different areas to load up so if I hit this button here I just came from the lobby right there it would do a nice big loading screen to load that area of the map up and then you explore this area of the map going to the map yeah I haven't gone into the map here yet and then you got your basic station world map and that was in here and I don't know how to actually go into the here and look at this map from this location which kind of sucks I wish there was an easy way to get in there and uh, you know look at the map from where you've been before and see what happens so yeah there is sneaking in this game i was sneaking before and you got health and armor and let's go into the you got your inventory so you got inventory management let's uh, auto sort and it's kind of you get your inventory full real fast i got an upgrade these are your upgrades right here they're called neuro mods or whatever if you're going to play it and uh you have to pick which school you want to go into or which you know tree or whatever you want to call it and you know i got like you know one in security so i can open some basic locks and a couple in repair so i can fix some stuff and uh upgraded the armor i mean your inventory so yeah you need to re really need to get your inventory up there's a lot of junk in this game and uh you know all this junk i, I did, just was at a recycling thing so i already got these parts that recycle but there's four different kinds of parts that you get from recycling and there's just tons of gray garbage that you got to recycle so you really need to get your inventory up in this game because it really sucks without it. And well, yeah, yeah, yeah. while well, I get there, they will show you some other stuff. There is other things like you got suit upgrades, and uh, that upgrade unlocked a couple more slots I, I could pick, but I haven't run into any of them yet. Still pretty early in the game, and there is no chip uh, sets available for me yet either. No status is damaged, and there's been no repair kits or anything like that in here at all. And it just keeps a, lo a log of everything, you know, keys, your plans. No research because, you know, it's still, you have to go through a lot. This is after a couple hours of play because there is a lot of searching and stuff to do. And in this game, you can also pick up uh, objects and throw them. Got some throw. That's supposed to distract the other guys in there, but who knows if it does. Uh, is he looking in this direction? I don't know. I'm going to try to find something heavy this time. I can find something heavy to toss it. Oh, he's... There's his bars. He sees me. I want to get something heavy to throw at him. There we go. That's heavier. Pick it up. Let's see how much damage we can do to him. Let's get close to this guy. This is an infected robot guy. He's coming right at me. Yeah, it didn't do very much damage to him. He's stunned. Run away because he explodes. There you go. And then they have the loot. And there's another upgrade you can get with those uh, things there to actually pick up the second loot in there because you can't pick it up and uh, it's with the other all the other enemies too have a special loot and all these objects are pretty easy it's pretty user friendly when you come across an object you know automatically you can see the loot that's inside of it without doing everything and yeah uh, yeah this game here you can uh, drink water to gain one hit point just like some of the old uh, favorites that you might have played a long long time ago like duke nukem where you had to uh, go to the washroom and keep drinking out of the toilet or drink anything to uh, get your hit points up and then you gotta keep waiting for it to recharge and get free healing nice and slow but yeah i recommend doing this with the washrooms at the start of the game there's washrooms with like three sinks in there and you just you know go to each of the sinks and then repeat to get your free health up there at the start there's little things you can read uh they don't tell you that they're red i don't like that part right there because you know it says you can read it but you know if i've already read the space elevator one so and it's just saying you know you read it is you know it's you already read it it should tell you that you already read it so you don't want to waste your time clicking on it oh it can drink right from there that's cool oh there's the other button there take that food buff that will help out, I guess. Well, yeah, so let's, let's check out that food buff. I never really checked it out before. Where's my status? Well fed. Increased health regeneration. Oh, that's, okay. that's cool. 
didn't even look at that before. So yeah, this is what the game is like. You can pick stuff up, sneak, throw stuff. They give you some basic weapons. This is the uh, basic glue gun that you start off with. Almost right away they give this crap thing to you. And you can shove them up with glue. But weapon switching. I'm trying to switch weapon, but it has to reload first. Now switch back and shoot. And... and charge. You can charge your attack like that. I stayed close and got hurt. But yeah, that's the glue gun, and we can show you this is the shotgun, and you have to be close range to hurt guys with this thing. You gotta be close range. And there's a mimic right here. Oh, he died one shot. That's pretty good. Yeah, so you get stuff like that, and that's the shotgun. It's uh, pretty weak if you're far range and the guys see you, and it's not a surprise attack. They don't really take much damage. It really sucks when you, you see a guy and you're trying to, like, you know, do close combat stuff like this, and you shoot him, like, you know, point blank, dead on shot, and it's like. Hey, I gotta do five of these to kill him, and I gotta sit there and reload while he's burning me alive with his psychic abilities and stuff like that. Kind of annoying. And of course, the uh, pistol isn't much better. Uh, no scope yet. I hope you get one. But yeah, you don't get ammo back, which is really annoying. But this is the start of the game, so it's not supposed to be, you know, sp uh, just, you know, shoot your way through everything with unlimited ammo. You're gonna have to work at having your ammo co uh, conserved and stuff like that. But this is the gameplay. You can run it and slide and poorly at best. And there's lots of key codes and locks and stuff like that. See, there's one of those guys right there. And I don't have the key code, so I can't get in. And this is a game where you got to go back and forth through areas. Because you'll, you'll find key codes and uh, lock codes to get through other doorways and other areas of the map you've already explored that you couldn't get in there before. So it's kind of like one of those type of games too. Where you have to keep going back to old places because you got new items that unlock those areas. Uh, the basic typical stuff. So that's why this game is getting a 7 out of 10. It's using mechanics that other games usually use a lot that are annoying. Like having to go back to other areas to uh, research for stuff and do that kind of thing. It's kind of basic that way. Um, so it does not going to get a top rating, but it looks, this game looks nice. There's lots of things to do, lots of, you know, things to search. You got computers and emails and all that kind of stuff and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's not too original. You're in space. Hey, let's go watch the space explosion here, I think. No, nothing happened. Yeah, you got you're in space and well, you can look. You can look. No, I can't see much. No, you're just seeing nothing. Oh, I thought they might have something cool there. I guess not. But yeah, you got to go and explore and do stuff. This is the game, 7 out of 10. It's a pretty decent game, so I'll come back to it later. I'm not going to play it now. And here's a cool thing you can watch right here. Yeah, it's the glue gun. It doesn't work like that when you're fighting the guy. He still shoots psionic balls at you, and he'd be out by now because it only lasts like three seconds or so after you get him stuck. There's his explosion. That would, like, you know, kill you, and it did kill him. He's dead. He tried to get over there, but he died from the one shot, and they can speed and teleport away. They can teleport right in front of you. It's kind of annoying that they can go through walls, and their explosions go through walls, and... Yeah, that's why it doesn't get a better rating because you know when you have th when you have things that they go through walls and the walls don't get damaged, it kind of gets kind of annoying. You know, I don't like wall clipping like that kind of crap. It's kind of sloppy in my book, but it's still pretty decent. So you know, seven out of ten is a really good score uh, for me because you know nothing's going to be perfect, and you know it has to have a play value. But yeah, that's a neat trick you can use your glue gun to make a ramp and get up things that way. So now he's dead, he drops his briefcase in there, you can get his key card in this room somewhere off a dead body, I think, because I made mistakes, and I reloaded. But yeah, there's lots of things like that, and you're going to have to run around with your wrench and destroy stuff like lots of glass and harvest stuff, but that's just, you know, regular mats you put in the recycling area and go there. So this works pretty fast, really solid game. That's why it gets a 7 out of 10, because it actually works pretty good, it's pretty interesting, and stuff like that. Where is that turret? Anyways, doesn't matter. Yeah, you can re-break those things. There might be something hiding in there. You never know. But yeah, there's a stem right there. I forgot about that. So yeah, 7 out of 10. This is Prey, and I'll see you soon for the other game that is free for this week. Because this, this film comes out at May 12th, but I have it early, so I'm going to post this early, and you can take a look at it, getting this game. So yeah. 
I recommend you actually pick this one up because it's free when it comes out and then yeah, play it. If you have nothing new that you're doing right now, uh, go ahead and play it and get into it. You'll probably get farther than I did really fast. <laughs> too far, too fast. No, I like to explore everything and get everything done and uh, try and see what I can find. But that's why I don't like coming back to old areas with other things to unlock them because, you know, running back and forth is annoying. Unless you could do it really fast. And if it's not fast, it's annoying. So, yeah, thanks for watching. 7 out of 10, pretty solid game. Go for it. Uh, pray. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.